This week on Uncorked, I'm visiting the beautiful Yarra Valley. Here you'll find some of the biggest wine producers in Australia, just round the corner from some of the smallest. Now, some of you might think that the big guys can't make good wine or that the little guys aren't going to make an impact anyway, so why bother with them? Well, I would love for you to join me this week in the Yarra Valley because I've got a sneaking suspicion we're going to enjoy some of the most unique wines that Australia has to offer. The Yarra Valley is a stone's throw from Melbourne, just under two hours' drive from the CBD. The first vines were planted in this region in 1838, making the Yarra Valley home to Victoria's oldest vineyards. Today there's over 70 wineries and almost 4,000 hectares of grapevines. The Yarra Valley has a cool climate by Australian standards, and so grapes that grow well in lower temperatures, notably Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, thrive here. But as we'll discover, the region's also producing some great Shiraz, Sauvignons, some newer Italian styles and some excellent sparkling wines. Even though there's plenty of vines around here that are over 100 years old, it probably wasn't until the late 80s that this area really started to get some fizz about it. Because it was then that French champagne giant Moët de Chandon decided to base their Australian production here in the Yarra Valley. <laughs> 